For several days in a row, oil prices have been gradually moving closer to the level of $80 per barrel. There are no drivers for growth. At the same time, there are no negative factors that could drag the oil market down, which is already a good sign. Apparently, this is what contributes to higher oil prices. Another factor that uh, promotes growth in the oil market is a decline in U.S. crude oil inventories. A rather st shortage of crude oil the market has faced. Against this background, oil prices will gain in the near future, experts are confident. Now let's take a closer look at the Brent oil price chart. Brent crude oil futures have added more than 10% since early December. On Tuesday, Polish sentiment pushed the quote up to $75.5 per barrel. Then the price formed a false breakout, followed by stagnation. If the benchmark consolidates above $76.5, it will most likely resume its bullish run. And given downbeat data on US crude stocks, this might happen today. Meanwhile, the Russian currency continues to drift around the level of 74 rubles per dollar. Yesterday, the dollar-ruble pair failed to close with the gains again. Today's macroeconomic calendar is bereft of any important releases that could have a severe impact on the quotes dynamics. Therefore, volatility is likely to remain low. Despite rising oil prices as well as foreign policy activity, the Russian currency continues to ignore these drivers. It seems that market participants cannot decide on this sentiment. Moreover, this uncertainty may persist until Friday, when the United States is set to report data on inflation. If the asset is able to consolidate above this level on the 4-hour chart, the dollar-ruble pair is expected to head towards 75 rubles again. Otherwise, the ruble may enter an upward correction from the local peak posted on November 26. Speaking of gold, the precious metal has been standing still near the level of $1,780 per ounce for a week. Subdued trading activity can be attributed to the Fed's uncertainty regarding monetary policy tightening. As is the case with the ruble, only U.S. inflation data to be released on Friday will probably be able to steer the market. Until then, oil prices will hardly break out of a sideways movement. Thus, our forecast for the assets for the movement remains unchanged. Gold futures are currently trading in an extremely weak upward trend, which looks like stagnation. In case the price consolidates above this level of 1,800 per three ounces, the precious metal will have a chance of gaining ground upside momentum. In the meantime, the trading instrument continues to move sideways. And we continue to actively monitor macroeconomic statistics and global political issues. So watch our reviews and leave comments. Well, that's it. May your trading be... A lucrative and see you soon.